second. Oh, I can come down there. Oh. You alright, Chris? Sorry, I'm just not organised at all. I wasn't expecting to come on. Um, so I'm just trying to get myself sorted. Uh, so have you all been watching John? Hello, Lorna. How did today go, all right? Hello, Chris. <laughs> Certainly not gorgeous at the moment. Need a shave and everything. Totally caught me out of uh, out of line here. Madeline, has everything been sorted? I saw you left a comment on the live stream from yesterday that you couldn't comment or anything. Um, and I went through and checked on the block list and that, and you're certainly not on the block list. Um, so I'm not sure what the problem was there. Right, Jamie. Uh, yeah, email me, Lorna. I'll get around to reading it at some point. Um, obviously, I don't know now what's going to happen for the rest of the day. <laughs> Disorganised chaos. Um, on whose on whose stream could you not bid or comment, Madeline? Um, because as soon as I was made aware aware of it, I went and checked it, and I, um, yeah, I didn't stream last night, Madeline. So maybe you were actually, without knowing, watching a recording, because I didn't stream last night. Um, so maybe that's what happened, I don't know. Um, funny, caught last five minutes of John ignoring Steve. I, I don't know what's happening. See, my Saturdays are really, generally my Saturdays are really laid out, um, quite lazy. Um, obviously, I like my football, so I go into the bedroom, lay in my bed and watch the uh, football things coming through on the printer. Um, so I was laying in there and I got a message from Steve saying that he was trying to log on and he couldn't log on because there's some verification thing set up and he needs Ian to uh, message him a five or six digit code or something and Ian wasn't answering any of Steve's messages. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Packing who's going, Jamie? Um, it's not mine, mate. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's all gone a bit. Um, oh, Madeline. Um, yeah, so it's all gone a bit peaked on. I wasn't meant to be on till nine. Um, John did offer to stay on, but I thought that you know he's had an eight-hour, a uh, five-hour shift already. Um, and I thought it would be a bit unfair to ask him to stay on any longer. <laughs> I've gone pear shape for the copper, yeah. <laughs> um, I might get you to jump on for an hour, Jamie, if that's all right. Um, say 7 to 8, uh, if that's all right with you. Um, then I can have a little couple of hour um, break to try and get me self in, um, into shape. Cheers, Lou, to your sympathy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, certainly don't mention the word copper around Chris. Um, uh, I'd like to think how many he actually uh, spent yesterday. It was certainly a lot. Uh, or at six. Yeah, maybe at six, actually, Jamie. That might not be a bad shout, mate. Um, and I can, you know, it gives me a chance to get myself something to eat and try and work miracles and make myself look presentable. I don't want to be on too long because people are going to get bored stiff for sitting here watching me. Um, so, yeah, if you don't mind, then if we say you jump on at six, um, six to eight, um, I've got somebody else down at being on. Are you joking? Oh, three, that's how many coppers you spent, Chris? Wow, for a second I thought that's how many subs you were saying we had. I was going to say, that's jumped up a level a lot. Chris, that is mental. 
You might as well round it up to 4,000, Molly. 3,965 coppers. Well over 20 kilograms. Oh, my God. <laughs> and how many have you got left, Chris? I bet you've still got 1,000 sitting there. See, I'm really good. I've only got to send 160 in. And I didn't even win an auction. <laughs> Refrain from swearing. <laughs> I'm worth my weight in copper. I bet you are, mate. I bet you are. So has anybody else had their gold proofs um, turn up? Oh, my God, you'll have to drive it to me. And I'm not gold proofs. So I'm not talking about silver proofs. So turn up from the mint that they ordered on the discount codes. Yeah, it would certainly, it would be cheaper for you, Chris, to drive it to him than post it. 20 kilograms is going to cost a fair old bit in postage. If you have the coin bid, if you don't, don't. Exactly, yeah, that's it. And, and that is really important, you know. Bless her, lose keep on at me. <laughs> if I'm buying something off eBay or if I'm buying something online, she's saying to me, don't go and leave yourself short. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't, if you haven't got the money, just don't, don't be. Um, you know, we don't want to be responsible for you being on beans or toast um, for the next week. Um, ordered one of the thirty pounds. Yeah, I, I'm, I was really shocked with the delivery. When did we order that? Was it Friday? We ordered them late. Was it Friday night? We ordered them. Or was it Thursday night? I think it was Friday. No, it can't be. That was yesterday, right? Um, so it must have been Thursday night we ordered them. And mine turned up this morning. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, I was really quite impressed with how fast that was. Um, really quite impressed. I did notice they actually sent me a little booklet with it. Oh. Yeah, it was late Thursday as well, yeah. Um, come on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the price on there. Um, but they're doing Stephen Hawking cufflinks. All right, they are solid silver, I think, from what I could understand of that. Um, but it's quite a bit of difference in the price. Um, 125 quid they're charging for them. Um, they are very nice. I've got a set here. Um, um, for me and... Um, Trying to find somewhere. I still haven't sorted my lighting out, as you've obviously guessed. Um, but yeah, they were. Um, so they're actually, what are they? I think they're thought forty nine ninety five on Ian's site, um, as opposed to one hundred and twenty five on the mint. Uh, where were we doing? It was late. Yeah, about nine o'clock in the evening. So I'll tell, I'll tell you, I told Lou the story this morning. It was quite funny. So I was sitting there, I suppose it was just after 12.30, wasn't it? Because the door had knocked. Um, no, there are 125, Lou. Not 65, 125 from the mint. Um... So I was sitting there, the football had just started, got all cosy. There's a knock on the door. So I go out there, a postwoman. And she says to me, got another, um, another parcel for you, Mr. Light, if you could just sign here for it. So yeah, not a problem, sign it there. And she's a real grumpy old bat anyway. <laughs> so I've signed for it and she's 
turned around and walked off and I'm like, okay, do I get my parcel then or are you just going to walk away? <laughs> you know, she wasn't even going to give me the parcel. And then I had to go back outside and pour her name to get the letters out of the box because she wouldn't bring them in as well. Yeah, so stupid. But yeah, so two coins is 120, yeah. Yeah. It's still cheaper to go and get them off the site. At 49.95. I think it's 49. I'm not going to check now because I'm not doing any auctions at all until this evening. Um, so what's everybody been up to today? It's been the weather been shocking where you all are. It's been absolutely horrendous here all day. And it still is now. By the way, my Chris is for Christine, and I'm the postie in the tin tumble trails area. <laughs> Uh, all right, There's something about you and um, food, Lou. You're just forever trying to get me feeling hungry, aren't you? But it's not going to work tonight because I've just been to the shop and bought myself a bar of chocolate. So that's me tonight. I'm going to be sitting here eating this in front of you. I need to uh, have a fix and wake up a bit. No, no, we don't have to worry about doing um, any auctions or anything, Jamie. Um, yeah, just have a chat, do a quiz, keep it nice and simple. Um, nothing will lead you. And then I'll... Today was meant to be a day of uh, just sort of chilling out and, you know, after yesterday's auctions. But um, we decided we'd do some cash auctions this evening. Um, oh, what's the wrong one? <laughs> Even now sending me pictures of Big Macs. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's just not on, is it? Can you get Big Macs delivered where you are? I think it's going through, um, oh God, what's it? Delivery or something, isn't it? I was so tempted the other night. Okay, that's good, yeah. Oh, your quiz went. Uh, your quiz went well the other day. Um, got a lot of interaction with it, so that's all good. Uber delivery. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've never used them, so I would imagine they charge you quite a bit more. Um, for the delivery, but. And I've got two, literally either side of me. I've got McDonald's that way that's well, about five minutes away that shuts at six. And then I've got one that way that's a 24 hour. Um, so it's just a bit lazy, really, not to go and get one. A pound delivery, that's not bad, really, is it? Well, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not nice when it's cold. So I always tell you if something can, if any sort of deals or anything come up, I'm not going to do it myself on this one. Um, but if you want to, a lot of you, I dare say, have had emails or something about this anyway. The Legend of St. George, official commemorative coin, free for you. The limited edition, the Legend of St. George, official commemorative coin has been struck in tribute to one of the world's most enduring legends. To commemorate this globally recognised figure, you can now own this commemorative half-crown for free. 
just pay two pound fifty post postage. So if anybody wants that, you go to www. <laughs> London Mint Office dot org forward slash STG twenty three. Uh, I always like things like that because lim limited edition, but it doesn't tell you how many or anything. Uh, does it tell me on the back? Um, no. No, nothing on the back at all. So, yeah, so if anybody wants that, I'll hold it up so you can even take a print and get the thing. Um, mintoffice.org forward slash, I can't see what it is now. GSA, is it, or something like that? 23. So, yeah, if anybody wants one of them. I get sick of the amount of ones that I get coming through. And I did. Um, yeah, that, I was just going to try and find a picture of that wheel. Um, I sent that to people this morning. And that's just a um, commemorative again, isn't it? Did I like it? Um, Do I? It did look. I suppose it wasn't bad. Um, yeah. No, no. It's not a. I've got to turn the um, thing down on it, haven't I? Oh, well, now I've put that there. Where can we try and get you? A... Oh, there you go. I think it was, if I'm right, I think it was a tenner, was it, Will? Um, oh, 19 yeah, okay. Um, I can't remember where that was. I'm sure Will was going to tell you. Um, that was quite early this morning that I was looking, so I can't remember. I've got a feeling it was Change Checker, was it? Oh, Westminster as well. Okay. Um, yeah. I think um, I'm going to skip buying that one. Um, it is nice, and I can see the appeal to a lot of people. Um, but, yeah, not for me. Um, I think it's from Jersey, man. Yeah, so I didn't even bother taking any other sort of notes down. I just took a picture and I sent it to a lot of people on the WhatsApp group that we're on. Because um, we generally share everything in there. So, you know, if there's any good deals or anything going on, um, share it amongst everybody. Thank you, Lorna. I'm, I'm coming off at six, so I'll read that at six. Um um, and see what's going on. Um, the email, uh, the email, the text message sent me a, about tomorrow again. I'll answer that um, in the email as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we generally just share all of the. Um, yeah, that was that one. Um, so, I don't think I had any other ones today. Um, we share all of the sort of deals about and that sort of stuff. Um, you got your free Wallace and Gromit today, Lou. Ooh, I know, I got sent a picture of that as well. And I must admit, I wasn't overly keen on Wallace and Gromit when I saw it um, on the site and that. But Lou sent me a picture of it today. And I must admit, it, it looked better than what I my first opinion of it was. Um, let me just see again if I can find you a picture. Yes, I know I need to delete some pictures. Um, will that focus again on this one, or am I going to have to alter it again? No, I'm going to have to turn it down again. No, so that one's quite bright, isn't it? 
but oh well. Um, but honestly, it does look um, an awful lot better um, than I first thought it did. Yeah, Angela's just confirming it looks a lot better. Yeah, but you didn't get your silver proof today, did you, Lou? You didn't get one of these. Let me show you this one. Oh, I thought you bought one as well. No, I didn't. I didn't get a silver proof for free. I wish I had. Yeah, I know you've got them all. Um, it is nice. There's an awful lot of detail on it. Um, and I think that the code is still working. Um, so if anybody else wants to shoot over there, you have to go Google voucher codes and the first one that comes up, voucher codes, click that in the search bar, type in Royal Mint, um, and it will come up with a 50% discount code. Um, yeah, 3rd of November. So literally you've got until tomorrow. Um, and it'll bring up a 50% off discount code thingy. Click on that. So you have to go via that link um, and then order some stuff on there. That 50% off. Um, obviously, they've minted an awful lot more than um, what they thought they were going to sell. So they're now trying to get rid of them all. And uh, but while you can get them for 50% off, jump on it. I think it's just personal preference, Angela. Um, I, Angela's probably, uh, Angela, Lou's probably a good one to ask because she's probably got them both. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, I just got, literally just got that one because that was what I considered to be my favourite one. Um, and like you say, I could only afford the one. I don't think it applies to every seal for proof you, Ali. Uh, but it certainly, yeah, um, that one that I've just shown you should have been 60 quid and with the code I got it for 30. Um, so you might have to mess about a couple of times and, you know, try and find him one that it works for. Um, but, yeah, it worked for that. And as Jamie says, it expires tomorrow. And, and people have been getting, um, not silver proofs, but they've been getting the, um, the 2019 Peter Rabbits from there and... For the equivalent of a five or a five or a pop. So, yeah, and I think you can order up to ten. Um, my coins have their own room in my house. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Well, I'll just answer that one. It comes on a page through the link. There's a few things on it, yeah. I've got a room in my place reserved for coppers. <laughs> I've got a room in my place for... So, oh, yeah, just read that, Wally. I've got ten of those for five or eight. Yeah, yeah, that's what I say. A lot of people were doing yesterday, grabbing them at a five or each. Can't really go wrong at a fiver, can you? Um... Has everybody else been over and watched Christopher Collects on his Q&A with James Checker? How well does the value on silver proofs increase, do you think? Again, you're asking the wrong person, no doubt. 
um, Lou or Chris or somebody in there will answer you. Um, so I'm virtually brand new to all of this. And that's my first 50p silver proof that I've bought. Um, can't say I've bought it for, um, you know, sort of an investment purpose. I bought it because I like it. And um, so if anybody can answer Angela on that, that would be appreciated. Um, oh, Zan, good day to you as well, mate. Nice of you to come and join us. There we go. Lou's answered you there. They will all rise in price when they sell out at the mint. You've got 55 Peter Rabbit. Oh, no, sorry. I'm with you now. The Silver Proof Peter Rabbit 2016 is going for a grand now, and people were paying £55 for it. It's a nice little investment in a couple of years' time, isn't it? There you are. Lou got hers for 30 quid. Yeah, I'd, I'd be shocked if it, if it suddenly went up to that sort of price. Oh, supply and demand, isn't that? Yeah, exactly right. Um, but like I say, I didn't buy mine to, to sell it on. I bought it because I like the coin. Um, I know a lot of people sort of get into the buying and selling um, it's a way to fund um, building their collection. Uh, it's just too much hassle for me. I can't be bothered with all that. Um, I'll buy something if I like it. Um, I generally have a, a figure in my head that I think, right, I'm prepared to pay that much. Um, yeah. And so far, touch wood, it, it's not worked out too badly for me. Um, managed to get myself what I found out afterwards to be um, some pretty good deals. But so at the time, I wasn't aware of that. I was just buying them because I liked them. Um, David, hi, Warren, and the rest of the family. Hello. Although I haven't said that, you know, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I did get a Kew Garden last week. <laughs> I think I forgot to say. Um, and that one's going to take some beating um, as, <laughs> as far as um, bargains go. But yeah, I understand what you're saying, uh, Angela. If you say I'm on, you know, I think most of us, to be fair, are on pretty limited funds and trying to decide on the best... Um, best investments um, like I say you know I'm not overly concerned um, I'm buying something to sell it at a later date I, I intend to keep most pretty much all of it um, I'm just trying to work out a way in which I can display things now um, so that's something that I'm going to be working on because I don't want to have all these and then you know, have them tucked away in a drawer. I'd rather have them where I can see them and, you know, look at them. Uh, oh, so I might have mentioned it. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had. <laughs> um, so, yeah, rather than having it tucked away in a drawer, I'd rather, you know, have it um, somewhere where I can see it. And I'm quite fortunate um, that the security here is pretty good. Um uh, it's all security cameras everywhere, and we've got um, electric gates on the park and all that kind of stuff, you know, um, key code entries and that kind of so stuff. Security is pretty good, so that's not something that's ever really going to be an issue with me. Because um, I know some people buy a, a collection and have it, you know, stored somewhere else in um, safety deposit boxes and that kind of stuff. Um, seems a bit pointless to me if I buy something that I like I want to be able to look at it um, you know, show it off and, and have a look so it might just mean a bit of a reshuffle get some of my other um, stuff
stuff off my wall. Keep one of all in, in your own collection, but trying to get enough to start a business. Oh, that's right. I remembered you saying that um, you were trying to get enough to start up a, a business, um, buying and selling. But there's, I say, there's quite a few people that um, come on these streams and that that buy and sell on eBay purely to fund their um, their uh, hobby, if that's what you want to call it. Um, obviously, you know, further down the line, if you found something else, um, I don't know. So I've, I've suddenly got a habit hobby. All right, I told you I've literally been out of bed about forty minutes. So cut me some slack. Um, I see now you've lost me. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. <laughs> um, yeah, no, further down the line, you know, if I was to find another queue or football or something, yeah, of course you're going to whack that up and sell that, aren't you? But um, I have been offered two key gardens for six uh, for 120 quid, um, but I won't be taking that up because I'm not sure it's from somebody that I can particularly trust. <laughs> um, and I wouldn't. So nobody, please, nobody ask. Keep ask me for it. Yeah, so for the two wheel, but I'm not going to pass on his details because. Um, He's just not a particularly trustworthy person. Um, and I wouldn't want to be responsible for somebody being ripped off from him. Um, yeah, that's the only reason that I wouldn't, you know, otherwise I'd have snapped his hand off for him. But um, it was just the way that he was coming around, um, sort of in telling me how he's sort of acquired him. And he's, oh, I've got to, you know, just chucked on the mantelpiece above the fire. And I was like, yeah, okay, that's not really what you would be doing with them, is it? Um, but, yeah, so that's why I won't. Somebody asked me for his details yesterday, and I was no, I'm not prepared to give them out. Um, hope he's not watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, unlikely that he will be watching. Um, so... Not a problem. <laughs> um, that's where uh, Chris has just said, yeah, it might be worth having a bit of a chat with Ian. I suppose it depends on what sort of area you, um, uh, of coins that you want to get into. Um, as an example, I know that Ian's longer, longer term plans, you never know with Ian because he'll change his mind tomorrow. Um, but the long-term plan is to get rid of all the foreign coins on the site, um, just keep the territories and obviously English money and American money on there. So if it was somebody looking at, you know, <clears throat> maybe venturing into some of the foreign uh, markets, then there probably would be some good deals that you could do with people. Uh, what I would say is whenever I'm on, if there's anything, I'm not doing it now because I'm going off at six, um, but if there's anything on the website at all that you want, just tell me and I'll whack it on for an auction. Um, anything across the site, apart from um, mystery parcels and the COAs, which I wouldn't want to do COAs anyway because, you know, at the moment we don't, don't know when it's... Um, exactly when it's coming um, and I'd rather, if I'm doing an aut spot auction like that, I'd rather it be something that you're going to get straight away. Um, so yeah, if, if there's anything, and that applies to anybody, not just Angela, um, if there's anything on the site that you see that you fancy, um, I don't know, maybe it's on there at 30 quid and you think, oh well, if I whack that in an auction, I might get it for 20 quid. Just give me a shout and um, whenever I'm on, We'll see what we can do. I've got a birthday present on its way from America. Woohoo! Coins, coins. Not just coins, though, is it? A number plate as well. 
And I'll bet you that there are going to be some other state quarters that you're going to get as a present. Um, just got a funny feeling that's what they might be. Uh, so, yeah, so another thing that literally just come out about, um, come about sort of almost by accident yesterday, and it's not, none of it's been confirmed yet. But another thing that we might consider doing is um, where well, we've had uh, your aid to said 10 P's, then that kind of got extended a little bit with what else you could use. Then you've had your one and two P auctions. Um, what we're thinking about doing is all allocating, um, I'm trying to think how you'd word it. Um, certain monetary auctions to certain CJs. Um, so for an example, um, Hannah would be the only CJ that does one and two P auctions, whereas Steve Fraser would be the only one that does the A to Z auctions and that kind of thing. Um, so you know that whenever they're on, um, that you can have those kind of auctions. Um, but that's just in its really early stages at the moment. It was just literally a case of one or two text messages last night. Um, so maybe that's something that worth keeping in mind. So still keep collecting your eight to sets and, well, not that anybody's following in any of them. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you're running two Ps and, and that kind of stuff, still keep collecting them. Good idea, I like a routine. Yeah, I, th I thought it was a good idea. Um, it was good fun. Um, it's just something that makes it a bit more regular then, doesn't it? And we're not going to keep getting uh, the times that you get asked, when are these auctions? When's this auction? Well, whenever that person's online. Um, hopefully what I plan to do is once I get the, a more sort of regular diary planned up because literally um i can't even find it now so i don't know i thought i threw away all the old stuff this morning but it appears that i've got page after page of stuff still written down on there oh no that's it <laughs> that's the diary at the moment <laughs> Um, so once I get a more, um, yeah, exactly what are we bidding in, what we're bidding in. Once I get a more, um, sort of regular, uh, slots for people, um, I'm going to try and see if we can get it put onto, uh, you know, the YouTube homepage where you got the picture. I think it's a picture of Ian and, um, is it Hector or Casper? Uh, so maybe see if we can get it embedded on there so that you've got a list of each day and a list of each uh, coin jockey that's going to be on. Um, it's just, it's some people prefer watching a certain jockey and others prefer watching somebody else and that kind of stuff. So I think that's not a bad idea. Um, we're not too far off. You know, pretty much every day is 12 hours almost. Um, so, yeah, so that's something else that we're going to do. What's today? Saturday, isn't it? Um, I've got an email, Hannah and Steve Fraser, sometime over the weekend with regards to the, uh, what was that? The CJ Battles. And hopefully we'll start recording those next week. So keep an eye out for those. They'll get uploaded as and when. Um, we'll, we've tried to find the best purchase on eBay within a one hour time slot. Um, so that should be quite good fun. I'm looking forward to doing that actually. Um, I've got a little idea where I think Steve's going to be going with his. Um, so it should be good fun. Um, <laughs> I still have eight said ten p's. I didn't part with mine. I know somebody that might be looking for some loot. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it to be really. Um, I'll have to speak with Ian again. Um, yeah, but I think I think I know what kind of coin uh, that Steve tried to go for. Um, I think Steve's going to go for try for territory coins. Um, again, that's just my opinion. So it'll be quite interesting to see. It'd be interesting to see, you know, whether we all go for the same thing, um, whether we go for something different. I, so I've got a little idea of where I want to try and go. But again, it doesn't have to be a coin. It can be anything that's coin related. So um, don't know. It'll be it'll be good fun this first time. Uh, see where we go with it. <laughs> Win his own stock at ninety nine p. <laughs> uh, I think you'd be very surprised if Steve's got anything on there at a starting bit of 99p. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe that was a rule that I should have stipulated, shouldn't I? You can't buy from yourself. Um, oh, he's here. Here he is. No, I won't. I will battle myself hard. <laughs> I reckon you're going to go down the territory route, Steve. That's where I think you're going to go. Um, but yeah, it'll be good fun anyway. Um, but again, I mean, that's what makes it interesting. Where we've stipulated it's a one-hour time frame um, that you've got. Um, obviously, you're going to be limited with what ends within that hour. And you might have a, a good idea of what you want to buy but there might not be any auctions ended or any auctions within a 20 pound budget um that are ending in that hour so you might have to change tact and and go over and uh look for something else always in the background i bemoaned my lack of plugging ability today in an earlier entry <laughs> um so are you okay to get that started next week then steve obviously if Hannah's okay with that. Um, I've got the time slots that we've got and who's got what time slots, but I'm not going to say who's got what. Then you forfeit. <laughs> then obviously you lose, don't you? If you don't purchase something within that hour, you've lost. <laughs> we well, you knew what you meant. Yeah, if you obviously if you don't get anything within that hour, um, then you lose. Because at the end of it, when you get the stock arriving to you, you've then got to send that to Ian, who's got to put a valuation on it. So it's a bit daft if if you make sure that you don't win anything. So putting in a bid, say 20 quid bid on something that ends in 59 minutes is um, really risky. Because if somebody comes over the top of you and you've only got a minute left to buy something. Um, yeah, that was the whole idea, I thought, of just giving it the one hour time frame. It made it a bit more interesting. Because, um, like I say, do you want to take the risk and um, put a bid on something that's ending in, you know, 59, 58 minutes' time? Or do you just want to try and grab as much things as you can for as little as you can? Oh, awesome, mate. Yeah, that's brilliant, Steve. No, I'm not going to have some care. I just need to get something to eat and have a wash and shave and everything so if you're ready to come on steve um that's brilliant mate i'll switch the stream off now um i'll switch the stream off now and you can come straight on steve um so jamie if you're watching apologies to you but steve is here to take over now just wait for steve to confirm yep yeah, all right he's ready Right, so I'm off now. I will be back from 9 o'clock till midnight doing some cash auctions for you. Cheers anyway, Jamie. I really appreciate the offer, mate. That's fantastic.
and I'll see you all at nine o'clock. Bye.